Man, how you doing? I'm good, man. You know, it's a dream, dream come true. You know, competing for a natty back at the crib. You know, that's always big. So, you know. uh, coming from Rancho Cucamonga High School, you know, kind of making your way through your your football career. Did you ever imagine you'd be playing for a college football national championship, let alone doing it uh, in LA? <laughs> man, a year, a year ago today, I for sure wouldn't have thought that. You know, there was a lot of. Uh, a lot of uncertainty, actually. I was thinking about it the other day. I was on my visit to TCU a year ago today. So, you know, it's just crazy how quick time flies. And, you know, just to see where we're at today, you know, it's just a testament to our hard work. And if I remember correctly, you were at Colorado. Yeah. Um, enter the transfer portal, which is the whole thing in itself. You make your way to TCU. What was it about TCU that stood out or, you know, made it the right fit for you? You know, honestly, it stood out to me, just especially because, you know, the position I play, you know, they've had a good uh, history of defensive backs and especially safeties in the last few years. Um, you know, Coach Gonzalez is a great safety coach and, you know, competing with the best talent in the Big 12 week in and week out. So, you know, everything was just kind of fit for me. And, you know, coming in with a new coaching staff, Coach Dykes, you know, it's given me a fair opportunity to be able to get on the field. Um, so, yeah, you came after Sonny was already here, right? Um did that go way into your decision at all, knowing that there was kind of that new coach coming in, there were kind of, you know, yeah. maybe be some turnover or something like that? Yeah, a little bit, because I think it just kind of gave me more of a fair chance to prove myself, because, you know, everybody kind of started off in the same same playing field, you know, he's still trying to learn everybody's names, just like I am, so, you know, I just felt like it kind of gave me a better opportunity to come in and, you know, make an impact right away. And being at Colorado, playing in the Pac-12, Big jump, uh, talent-wise, speed-wise. Uh, what? How different is the Pac-12 from what you've seen at uh, TCU? It's, it's a lot different. You know, I think you know every week in the Big 12, you know, you saw a lot of you know versatile receivers. You know, from I, I, off the head, I can name so many. Mm. But um, you know, the Pac-12, you know, honestly, this year was really great too. So you know, I think I think a lot of the conferences, you know, coming up recently and. Um, but yeah, the Big 12 is great competition week in and week out. You know, there's no game that you can say, okay, this is a for sure win. You know, every week you got to go out there and prepare, you know, to play your best. And being from Ranch Cucamonga, I'm sure maybe you're watching that Ohio State game, much like I was with CJ. Um, just the way that game was playing out, did, did you kind of think you were going to, you know, maybe see CJ in the national title game? You know, I for sure thought I was going to see CJ, man. You know, that's my dog. You know, I talked to him after the game, you know, told him I was proud of him. But, you know, things ended up happening the way they happened. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm still proud of him. You know, he went out there and did everything he could to win that game. So, you know, it's always love from our dog. And, you know, it's going to keep him pushing. And, again, just kind of circling back, uh, playing this game here in L.A., uh, what, is the, what has it been like from family, friends? Have they been trying to hit you up? One, maybe for tickets, but also just to show love? Yeah, you know, it's been, it's been crazy. You know, I've seen, I got a lot of support, you know, ever since I moved to TCU. But, you know, now that, you know, we're about to compete for a natty at, at the crib, you know, everybody's trying to come through. Everybody's trying to, you know, just see what we're all about, you know, because we don't, we don't come and play on the West Coast often. So, you know, I think a lot of people don't really know, haven't really seen us play that much unless it was on a national stage like this. So, you know, I think this kind of gives everybody an opportunity to see what TCU is about. And uh, final question, what, what have you guys seen on film from Georgia on offense? Um, their quarterback, Stenson Bennett. You know, what, what are you guys expecting? What are you guys looking forward to in this game? You know, they're a really good team. Obviously, you know, Stetson was a Heisman finalist along with Max, you know, a good quarterback. Um, Brock Bowers, great tight end. So, you know, they have they have a lot of playmakers. Um, I think it's going to be pretty similar to the last game. You know, we, we run a three front, and, you know, they're going to try to run us out of it and, you know, try to play that SEC style of football. And, you know, we just got to be able to stick to our game plan and be able to execute. So I think it'll be a, it'll be a great game. It'll be a good battle. Actually, one more question for you. Uh, another local kid from Downey, I believe he wears the same number as you, number three, the D Mercado. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about him. Were you familiar with him at all prior to coming to TCU? Yeah, I know him a little bit. He's originally from Inglewood, uh, went to Downey, and then uh, he played Juco ball at Saddleback. So, you know, I, I knew of him because I had some friends that had played with him. So, you know, we're, we're pretty close. You know, obviously we wear the same number. So we always uh, we always had this joke. We just call each other number three. But, yeah, that's my dog. You know, that's hard. Um, what, what has he meant to the team? What, how, how has he performed? What are your thoughts on him and his game? You know, he means a lot to the team. Obviously, you know, he steps up big whenever we need him. Um, you know, obviously, y'all saw that last game when Kendra obviously went down. You know, he stepped up in a big way, broke off a few big runs. So, you know, it, it's been big. You know, obviously, for me, coming in last year, you know, having somebody else from Cali on the team just to kind of, you know, 
get adjusted to Texas and mm -hmm. you know learn everybody's learn everybody's names and get used to everything. You know that was big. So. Cool, man. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it.